Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. Uh, this is part of a series called 25 for 25, in which we feature uh, winners of the Raspberry Making a Difference Awards. We've been doing this programming for many, many years, and it's the 25th, coming up on the 25th anniversary of uh, the Russell Berry Making a Difference Awards. And we have the 2001 winner of the uh, Raspberry Making a Difference Awards with us right now. She's Sandra Ramos, founder and executive director of Strengthen Our Sisters. Sandra, so good to see you. Same here. Tell folks what Strengthen Our Sisters is and why it is so important. Strengthen Our Sisters is the first shelter that was started in my Hackensack home in 1970. And it's a shelter for uh, mothers and children and, and also single. And it's uh, with a heart. We're, we're a little bit, in my opinion, which mostly I agree with, it's, it's a shelter that really goes out of the way. We've gone through many, many struggles and we have, um, we take people, except people where we don't get welfare vouchers from social service vouchers. But in the last, you know, years, 55 years, particularly the last five years, we've had a lot of money issues, but a miracle happened a couple of years ago. We were in foreclosure. We lost, you know, we, our houses were in foreclosure. And then we got a, a miracle from Columbia Bank. One of the members is on our board and we have all our houses and they're all full. We have two daycare centers, a group right. home and we're struggling, but doing good and, and, you know, changing, we're trying to change the world and saving lives. Well, let me ask you this. Um, domestic violence. In, during the age of COVID, you know, just ridiculous even saying it, that expression. We're taping this at the end of 2020. It'll be seen after that. Um, to what degree has the problem of domestic violence and the victims of domestic violence, how are they suffering differently or even more during COVID? I don't think that they're particularly suffering more, but there are some logistical issues. One of the things, of course, uh, is that people don't like to share with, with the covert. And we have five units and we're working on getting kitchens and bathrooms, well, there's bathrooms and kitchens there so they can do cooking and have their own bathroom in these units. So that's good. But domestic violence, unfortunately, doesn't change. It, it comes from insecure people that want to control and are jealous and it's very difficult. And now, because we're a lot more flexible than some, a lot of it is touched economically because right. as we all know, people are starving and you know it's very difficult and they're losing their homes and their jobs. Hey Sandra, why are you so passionate about this? I don't know. When we were in foreclosure and the, the man from the bank called, Todd, he said, I'm, I'm calling you about your houses. And I said, you better not try to take our houses. And he starts to laugh. He said, you're still passionate. So I guess you're the second one that said, I'm, well, you know, not the third. Well, one. you are passionate. Todd. And those houses are shelters for women and their families, their children. Um, to try to protect them as best one can. And so you are passionate. I saw it when I met you back in 2001 when you won the award. But, but 19, 20 years later, you're just as passionate because. Well, I, I say thank you. Some people would say you're kind of a troublemaker and you know we don't like it, but, but I, I guess I am passionate. You know, they say revolutionaries are born, not made. And, yeah. and I guess I just feel that it's my mission in life. I didn't plan to do it. I'm not paid now. I was paid in the, you know, after 77, from 70 to 77, I wasn't. And then we got funds and I was paid, but I was only paid 775 every two weeks. It wasn't a big salary, obviously. But after that, when we, you know, lost a lot of money, I, 13 people stayed with me and we kept it going. And, and yeah. we're just, doing it because it's, it's what needs to be done, I believe. Well, let me ask you this. Right behind you is a check, the $50,000 check from <laughs> May 23rd, 20, excuse me, 2001. Again, I remember I met you that year. You won the, the, the most significant prize that year of the Rustbury Making a Difference Awards. What does, what did that award mean? What does it mean? 
the award was meant and I gave the money to the shelter and we bought the berry house and we, we named called it, it the after. berry house yeah and in fact if you want Sherlock who was doing the uh, logistical film thing she's wonderful I don't even use a computer but she can send you the pictures of the letters where it says berry they're big wooden letters we'll make sure we show that but what did it mean to to win that award that year. I remember meeting you that year. It meant that we would have money to, to get another house. It was a big deal, wasn't it? It was a very big deal and we're very, I'm very, and we are very appreciative and you know, we're very appreci appreciative to Russ and his generosity. And Angelica came and she and I walked down the stairs and we had a party and it was really nice. And we gave her a picture of Russ with his little dog, the poodle, made I by remember. this woman, Tiwa Lede. She, she was an oil painting she made from his photo. We presented it to Angelica. Angelica Berry. Well, listen, Sandra, keep, keep doing what you're doing. Keep going with the passion you have. When it comes to the issue of domestic violence, you're out there every day fighting the fight. So, Sandra Ramos, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for doing this and keeping this fight on as well. It's our honor. I'm Steve Adubato. We'll be right back.